Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Oculus by LED projector headlights from Oracle on the Ford Bronco. The tools I'll be using for this installation are an electric impact driver and ratchet with 10 millimeter and eight millimeter sockets, a T25 Torx bit, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a fastener removal tool. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we've got some attachments to assemble to our headlight. So I'm gonna start with the driver's side headlight. We'll do the same thing with the passenger side. So what I'm gonna do is flip this over real quick. Uh, now you will see on the back side of it, it'll say LH for left hand on the passenger side, it'll say RH for right hand. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to attach our blinker assembly. Now these are also going to be labeled uh, for left hand and right hand. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna peel back a little bit of the wrapper. I'm gonna slide that into those pegs. Now on the opposite side, we've got this trim piece that goes over here like so. And once this is all lined up, we're gonna have some longer bolts in our kit. All right, once that bolt goes through, we've got a nylock nut in our kit. We're gonna go ahead and get that one attached first. I like to put it all the way down to where it hits the nylock. And then we're also gonna put the other bolt through the exact same way. From the front to the back. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on its side and I'm going to take a Phillips head screwdriver. That bolt has a Phillips head on this side. So we're gonna hold that bolt still and then take an eight millimeter uh, socket and tighten that down. Don't over tighten those, it just needs to get nice and snug. All right, now next for the top, we're going to take this bracket and goes right along the top. So if you look at this here, we've got two holes in a peg and we've got three holes in that bracket. So the center hole is gonna line up to the peg. And next, what we're gonna do is take some screws in our kit. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and tighten them down with a Phillips head. Again, don't over tighten these, just get them nice and snug. All right, next we're gonna see kind of the same scenario right down here where we've got two holes in a peg. What we're gonna do is now we're gonna take this bracket here or notice we got three holes here. That center hole is gonna line up with the peg. And then these two holes line up with those holes, just like that last bracket. And just like the last bracket, we're going to use the provided uh, Phillips head screws and put them in. All right, now what we're going to do is take this cable right here and attach it to this cable on the housing. So you'll notice They've got little tags on them to tell you what they go to, but also this one right here has the threads on the outside, and this right here is going to go to that threaded area. Also, if you notice, there is a little groove on the inside here and a notch on that, so those need to line up. They're gonna slide into each other. Once that washer meets right there, you're gonna slide the cap over and then screw it in. All right, now this other one is going to go to our side marker, but the side marker actually attaches to our grill, so we have to take the grill off first. So for right now, let's go ahead and flip this over. We can go ahead and pull off our plastic protective strips. Okay, I went ahead and assembled the passenger side headlight. It works the exact same way as the driver's side. Now let's go ahead and head on over to the Bronco and start taking the grill apart. All right, now what we need to do is go ahead and remove our radiator cover. So we've got eight push pins that need to come out. All these push pins, basically what you need to do is get underneath it and it's a dual stage push pin. So you pull the first part out and the second part comes out as well. Do that with all eight of them. All right, now we can go ahead and lift our cover out along with the inlet going into the intake and set it to the side. All right, now we've got four bolts that hold the grill onto the upper mount. So we're gonna pull those out with a 10 millimeter. All 
All right, now, if you have a front-facing camera on your grill, you need to first disconnect these two pieces right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push in on this piece and this pops out. And then this portion right here, the sides squeeze in together and then that pops out like so. All right, all that is holding this grill on now is clips. So we're gonna start pulling it away. First, we're gonna go to the sides and just kind of pry back on it to pop it loose. And then we can just gently pull from the bottom. And lift it up and out of the way. All right, so now we need to take loose our lower valence. In order to do that, we first need to loosen up our fender. So just inside the fender, there's a little lever. You turn it 90 degrees, and that fender can come loose just like so. Now we can kind of reach back here and pull straight out. Do the same thing on the opposite side and then work it from one side to the other, pulling it free from the clips. Right now we're on the driver's side. What we do here on the driver's side, we'll be doing the exact same thing on the passenger side, just a mirror image. So we've got a couple of bolts to pull out and then also a plastic push pin. So we're gonna take the push pin out first. So you use a fast removal tool to pop that out. And then a 10 millimeter to take out the two bolts. All right, now we've got one last bolt holding this in, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that out with an eight millimeter. All right, and the only thing that's holding in now is just clips, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it back. All right, and once we bring it back, we can go ahead and disconnect the harness and pull it out of the way. All right, now here is our new Oracle headlight. And what we want to do is make sure that this piece is going to be kind of hanging down. Go ahead and hook that up to the harness. And it only goes in one way. So once it's slid in place, go ahead and rotate it up. And we're going to go ahead and line up for our eight millimeter down here. We're gonna go ahead and put that back in, tighten it down with the eight millimeter. Now let's come right back up top. We're gonna to first put in our plastic push pin fastener where it was before. And we're gonna line up both of the bolts. Make sure they're both lined up before you tighten either one of them down. And then tighten them down with a 10 millimeter. Repeat the same on the opposite side. Here is our grill. This is the driver's side. This is the top, this is the bottom. What we're gonna be focused on right now is this spot. This is where our side marker is going to go. So here is our side marker. Since this is driver's side, it's gonna say LH on the side marker for left hand, and it's gonna fit right here in this spot. So what we need to do is take out these two screws. Those come out with a T25 Torx bit. I'm just gonna lay that in place and line those screws back up. Again, I always like to get both of them started before I tighten anything down. Now I'm using an electric impact driver. If you're doing that, make sure you're really careful. You don't wanna break the plastic that's in here. These can apply too much torque really quick. So just be really careful with it. Now let's go ahead and repeat the same process on the opposite side, and now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the lower valence. One of the main reasons why putting the valence in first is because I've got a winch here and it gets really tight if you're trying to put the valence in second. So what I'm gonna do is kind of lower this in place. We've got a locating pin on the bottom of the valence. So I'm gonna locate that onto the hole in the grill. Make sure that all of my flaps are up inside the valence and then go ahead and start sliding it forward. 
Make sure the clips are lined up and start pushing the clips in. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do this in reverse. We're gonna stretch this around here. Pop that in place. Reset our fender. Repeat the same on the opposite side. All right, now I've got the grill kind of set in place for right now. We need to go ahead and hook up our side marker to the cable coming out of our light. Uh, now, keep in mind, we still again have that notch on the inside. It needs to line up to the groove on the other piece. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that together and slide that in. Once it's slid in, we can go ahead and fasten it together to get nice and watertight. And work this in, repeat the same on the opposite side, and we can go ahead and attach our grill. Okay, now down here at the bottom of the grill, I wanna point out these six clips. Now these are gonna line up to this bar underneath your active shutter system. So you got three shutters and then a bar down here. Each clip has a hole that it needs to line up to. Now, as we bring this grill around and line them up to those holes, we also wanna make sure that the wires for our side markers don't get caught between the headlight and the grill. So make sure it gets tucked back in there. And once you get it all nice and lined up, go ahead and snap in from the bottom first and work your way around the side. All right, now we can go ahead and reattach our four bolts with a finger in. All right, now we can go ahead and reconnect for our forward facing camera. You've got those connectors. All right, now we can go ahead and reconnect our inlet for our intake and then set our radiator cover back in place. Make sure you get everything lined up. And once it's lined up, go ahead and start putting your push pins in. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online at realtruck.com.